Now, one of the first questions people ask is, can you get monetized using AI voices? Well, yes, you can. There's also a bit of a caveat. Firstly, it has to be a good quality voice. YouTube really doesn't want it to be a robotic sounding voice. So the voice needs to sound human-like. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't use things like Pictory voiceovers and things like that. It just means you need to be able to use voices that are of a higher quality than just the robotic, that, that dog's like this. You don't want to be going to those kind of voiceovers. You want to improve on that. Plus, you also need to be able to meet the YouTube monetization criteria by following their monetization guidelines. For example, you need to have original content, something that you've created yourself. Number two, it needs to be a good quality voiceover. Number three, you can't be spamming people. And number four, you can't just upload somebody else's content. And also, you can't just get a private label right content and just upload that onto YouTube, expecting that to get monetized, because it won't. You need to be able to make sure that the content you create is original from you. Now, while I'm saying that, I'm gonna be taking you to the next section where I'm gonna be showing you various AI tools to be able to help you get what you actually wanna do. That is create a YouTube channel that's monetized. Now, I'd highly recommend that you check out YouTube's monetization policy and the various things that you need to do to make sure you stay on top of it. It's really important to follow their rules. Otherwise, you're at risk of losing your channel. Let's go check out how you can do it properly so that you don't get in trouble with YouTube and you'll be able to get your channel monetized later on. Let's go check it out. One of the things you're not to really do is to use duplicate content. In other words, you're not to just grab a private label right ebook or something like that and create a video on that word for word without changing the actual content itself. You really do need to be able to edit the PLR content before it can be uploaded as a video onto YouTube. So saying that, that's one of the things you need to watch out for. Now, how do we get around that? Quite easily, you can use things like Quillbot or any of those ones that can actually change it up and make it unique. And I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. Other than that, you can actually create the content yourself using ChatGPT. Now, as you can see over here, introducing ChatGPT. Now, it's free to use, but you can also pay for it if you wish to by using ChatGT Plus, which is the one I currently have. Now, I'm going to just get rid of that, and we're going to go straight over here to ChatGPT. Right now, I'm currently writing an ebook about how to find content for your YouTube channel for a year. Now, I've decided to actually call that Idea Ignition One Year of Endless YouTube Ideas. I got that idea from combining a couple of ChatGPT suggestions, and that's what I'm going to be calling that particular product. So in the, I'm in the process of actually creating this right now, and you'll see I've got like the first chapter created. I've got the intro and the first chapter. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab some content from the first chapter, and we're going to then start on the voiceovers. Now, one of the first things you're going to want to do is to create your script. Now. To do that, all you have to do is go over here to new, and then you can create your script. But because I've already got a script pre-created by having that part of my ebook created, I'm just gonna be using some of that. So let's move over to the next part where we're going to create the voiceover. Now, the first place we're gonna be having a look at today is called Descript. Now you can start off for free, which is really great. And it gives you one month hours per for free, or you can do the creator, which is $12 a month or you can do pro, which is 30, 30 hours a month and so forth. Now you can create your own voiceover in that. In fact, I have got over here, if I just bring my Descript up, I have used Overdub to use my own voice to create my voiceover in this particular case. Let's have a look over here. We'll just hit there and you can have a quick listen to what it actually sounds like. Just press play and you can have a quick listen. Welcome to Idea Ignition, one year of endless YouTube ideas. If you've ever found yourself staring blankly at a screen, brainstorming until your coffee goes cold, and feeling like you've hit a creative wall, well, consider this ebook your new best friend. Now you can change that up. I would highly recommend that if you do decide to do this, and you've got yourself ebook getting created, that you change it up and do what I just did here. And that is change the word ebook to video, or e or if you don't want to use the word video, you can use the word course. Now, if you're doing it for YouTube videos, then I would strongly suggest change it to videos, so as it doesn't sound silly. And then you can just continue on. Now, you can also use their voiceovers if you wish to, and their voiceovers are really good. 
Let me go down here and I'll show you some of their voiceovers because their voiceovers are quite nice. You got the stock voices just here. Let's have a listen to Don. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop for now let's have a listen to Emily. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. And we can also have a listen to Ruth. Uh, we can have a listen to Ruth. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. And we can also have a listen to Malcolm. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. And if things don't work out. And they also have a person named Henry, believe it or not. So that's kind of cool. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good time. Develop from the negatives. And you have other ones as well. This is from Descript. It's a really powerful way in which you can actually use a voiceover to create your videos, especially putting them straight into Descript. Now you can get Descript, but you need to download it onto your desktop as well. And you work on the downloaded one. So, and that's free by the way. So let's go and have a look at the next site where you can get some amazing voiceovers. Well, the next place we're having a look at here is called Eleven Labs. I love Eleven Labs. I actually am on the $22 a month plan. So as I can get myself 100,000 characters because Eleven Labs uses such powerful tools. Their voiceovers are so realistic sounding that they even put their own breath into it so that when you are listening to it, you can actually hear little puffs of breath here and there. And it sounds so real. So one of the reasons I love it is because it does sound like a person. Now let's go and have a look at Working Labs in action. All right, so this is one we have right now. And I'm using one of the voices that I've actually created myself. Now, you need to have at least three hours worth of voices for this to work properly. Now I have only got a small amount of voices in this, nowhere near three hours worth. So it still has an American accent, but that's okay because it sounds pretty good. So let's have a listen to this. Now I'm just gonna quickly start it up. I'm just gonna be using this particular one. In fact, what I might even do is grab my entire script and pop it straight in there so that you can actually hear what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this and copy that. Now this is just the first section of my intro. So it's not really the entire thing, just a small amount. So I'm just gonna go Control V. Okay, let me quickly show you the settings. Over here, I've got it set at 50, I think it's 50%. I can set that down to say 40%. I actually prefer around 40% because it gives a much clearer sound. And I also like to set that at 100%. And then I like to use 11 Labs version one and all we have to do is hit generate. Now, the reason why I choose 11 Labs version one is because the other one is a little bit glitchy. So for safety's sake, it's best to stick with the solid Welcome version. to Idea Ignition, one year of endless YouTube ideas. If you've ever found yourself staring blankly at a screen, brainstorm. Essentially, that's what I would sound like if I was American. See how realistic that sounds? That is going to get passed onto YouTube, no problem at all, because it sounds so human. So that one will definitely pass YouTube's criteria. Now, once again, I have created original content using ChatGPT, and we're using an original voiceover that you can use. Now, how do you create the actual video itself? Well, one of the easiest ways in which I know how you can do this is to use Pictory. Now to use Pictory, I'll leave a link for this in the description down below because I've got a discount for you for 20% off if you want to use it. So make sure you use a discount code to get that 20% off. So anyway, you have a look down here and you can have a look at all the various prices. Now you can use a premium for $39 a month. And of course with 20% off that comes down. Or you can use this one here, $19 a month, and you can use 30 videos per month. So that's like one a day if you wish to. And that's fantastic. Or you can do two a day and using this particular one here. Now this one allows up to 10 minutes worth of videos. And I highly recommend that you go eight minutes or more because that way when you get monetized, you're able to use other aspects of it. Also too, if you wanted to go this one, you can do $39 a month and that's gonna give you a lot more videos and a longer length of videos. So you can actually do up to 20 minutes worth of videos, which is awesome. So let's have a quick look at here. Now, of course, you've seen me use Pictory before. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but the one we're gonna be looking at primarily is going to be the text to video. Now, as, as you can see here, script to video. And of course, all we have to do is click on that. And then we just have to enter that in here. And we're just gonna call this one intro. And all we have to do now is make sure that the settings are auto highlight keywords and auto visualize section. Now, one of the things you, 
I would highly recommend you do is if you're going to be checking this out, you can find something here that you think would be a good keyword that you can highlight. And I'd also highly recommend that you change, go like that and actually for every natural break that you create, that you, you also change lines. So I tried to do that earlier, here we go, but I missed a couple clearly. So this one here, go down there and you can create natural breaks. Put a full stop there. And this will then create the video itself. So what we need to do now is making sure that's all done. I'm happy with what it's like. I'm not gonna worry about putting highlights on it. You can if you wish to. I'm gonna highlight the blueprint one. So let's go there and hit highlight. Whoops, a daisy. And then we're gonna go over here. Okay, so let's go engaging ideas. Now, every one that you highlight will be the one that they will look for an image for. Okay, so you can do YouTube. So I'm gonna highlight YouTube to try and make sure it understands that's the one I'm specifically looking for. But I'm not gonna go into it too much detail right now. So I'm just gonna hit proceed. And in just a minute or so, this will then allow us to be able to create a video. But we first of all have to choose a template. Now I'm gonna go down and choose one of my favorite templates, which happens to be this one right here. So I'm just gonna choose this one right there. And it'll give us the option to go landscape, 19, nine by 16 or one to one. So I'm gonna use 16 by nine, which happens to be the landscape one. And in just a moment or two, this will create the video for us. Now, the best part about this is once you've got your 11 labs video created and you've got the voiceover the way you want it, you can then download that to where you want and you can then upload that to Pictory, which is amazing. You can use the voiceover from Pictory and put that straight into here. And what they'll do is they'll sync the voice up with the actual text. Highly recommend also too, that if you're gonna be doing this, that you get this, put it into Audacity, lengthen the gap between the lines. The reason you wanna do that is because this way it gives time for one frame to transition to the next frame. So like half a second or something like that will be ample time for it to change from one to another. And it's all, also half a second is far more natural because that's approximately what the average person gives in a gap when they speak naturally anyway. As you can see, you've got all this. Now, if you want to download your video or voiceover, all you really need to do is go over here to audio, click on that, and you can go here to voiceovers, or you can actually go over here and you can upload a voiceover of your very own. I would highly recommend that you actually go over here. They've changed a little bit. Go over here and then you hit upload voiceover and then you can find a voiceover that you already have or you can apply an AI voiceover or you can record your own voice. But I would highly recommend that you don't use their AI voiceovers because their, their AI voiceovers, although they're okay, they run the risk of having your channel potentially get banned. We'll have a listen to this one as it's a new voice. Let's have a listen to what this is like. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by 80%. Okay, that one's not great. Let's have a listen to Tom. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by 80%. He actually sounds pretty good. He looks like he'd probably pass that one. Let's have a listen to Jackson. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by 80%. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by 80%. Yeah. All the new ones look like they'd probably pass YouTube's no problem at all. So you'd probably be fairly safe to use those ones because they sound so realistic. Some of the older ones, be careful because I won't say you will. I will say there's a possibility you could get banned if you use some of the older ones like Matthew or Justin or Joey or one of those ones. If you use one of the older ones, there's a possibility. I won't say you definitely will get banned, there's a possibility you could because they do sound a little bit more robotic. But saying that, they are still really good voices, but the Aiden, these new ones seem really, really good. Now let's have a listen to some of the female voices very quickly, and we'll have a listen to Ava, seeing she's new. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by 80%. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video in Okay, let's have a listen to Sophia. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by... Okay, Alice. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by 80%. It's awesome. And also, Addison. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by 80%. That one will probably pass no problem at all. Anyhow, saying all this, this is Pictory. So what you need to do is get your video voiceover that you want to do, upload it onto Pictory. And I would strongly suggest use 11 Labs voiceovers if you wish to. Get your script created by 
ChatGPT and then use Pictory to create your entire video. Now you can also use transitions if you wish to and I highly recommend you do. And you can also shorten the scenes up if they seem to be going too long. Hey guys, it'd be really awesome if you could subscribe because we're on a mission to be able to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. It'd be really awesome if you could help us out with that. Thank you. Now if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing? Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these methods. Now also too, right here is a video I believe you might like. Right here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now if you click on that or poke me in the forehead with your finger, you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.